Hello everyone and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial. So in the second tutorial we stop in here and now we're gonna uh, create a brush that we'll uh, be using to create uh, some shadow parts coming from this uh, clock. Alright, so I will go and create a new file that we'll be using to create our uh, brush. So I will uh, make uh, the width 500 and the height 500 and the piece OK. Alright, now we'll go to the last tool again and I will create a new layer and I'm gonna try to make uh, a part that looks like uh, a triangle or something like that to make it like uh, is coming from uh, the clock so I will just randomly make uh, this like this and I will fill it with black by pressing alt backspace and as you can see now we have this uh, uh, part in here so now I will go to edit and then I will define it as a brush and I don't need to name it so I press ok and now if I go my, to my brushes I can find this uh, brush in here save but it's there is nothing interesting going on with this brush so we need to make some uh, changes uh, to it alright so I'm gonna select everything and delete and then I will go to my brushes in here and again if you can't find this just press F5 on your keyboard or you know you can go to window and make sure that brush in here is checked alright so uh, we're gonna start with the, the brush tip shape I'm gonna make the spacing around 300 so we we'll make it around 360 or 50 and then I will go to the shape dynamic and I will make it active and I will make the size jitter around uh, 62% and uh, in the control in here if you have a drawing tablet that you are using you can uh, make uh, the pen pressure on in here but I won't need it uh, because I'm using my mouse so there's no need for me to make it on in the minimum uh, diameter I will uh, make it 9% and uh, the angle jitter I will make it around 19 or 20 and uh, in the roundness I will uh, make it around 60% alright and I will keep uh, the minimum roundness to 25 but I will uh, make a check mark on the flip X jitter and the flip Y jitter alright now I will go to the scattering and I will make it active and I will uh, make uh, a check mark on the both axes and then I will uh, put the scatter to 800% Alright, and I will one click on this uh, one to save this brush and I will call it Shutter. You will find this brush uh, along with uh, all the, the file that we will be using for this tutorial down in the link in the description below. So just download it if you want. Alright, so now we have this really interesting brush in here. If we can taste it in here, as you can see, we can create uh, some really cool stuff with it. Alright, now I'm gonna create another one, so I will go again to the lasso tool and this time I'm gonna uh, make uh, another brush, let me see, maybe like this and I will fill it with black again by pressing Alt Backspace and I will press Ctrl D to deselect. Alright, so I will go to edit again and I will define it as a brush tool and I will press OK. Now I will uh, make uh, the brush active and as you can see we have the same shape in here so I will go to the brushes again and I will go to the brush tip shape and again I will make the spacing around 300 and then I will go to the shape dynamics and I will do the same as I did for the other one and I will save it so I will call it share 2 and I think we can uh, use this two brushes all right so let's close this and let's make a new layer and I will call it shader and let's start with this brush let's make, let's make it around 20 pixel or 25 and let's start like this alright I think it looks good I 
all right let's switch to the other brush in here and make it around 20 pixel make it a little bit smaller all right i think it looks good all right and of course we won't leave it like this so we need to make some changes to it so let's hide this for now and then i will uh, go to this uh, background uh, file in here and I will uh, hide it too and I will hide the shadow too and let's uh, hide the, the layer mask by pressing on shift and one click on this layer mask and as you can see it will uh, put an X to it which that's what we want and then I'm gonna create a new layer on top and I will call it clock and if I press Ctrl Shift Alt E on my keyboard, it will take a stamp visible layer and put it on this layer. Now we have the, the clock with the texture and everything on a separate layer in here, which we're gonna use. So let's go and make everything else visible and the layer mask too. And as you can see, now we have this clock on top of everything. And then I will take it and put it on top of uh, the shutter uh, file in here and I will make the shutter brush visible and then I will make it as a clipping mask to this shutter layer in here so I will press alt and as you can see uh, the cursor will change to this down arrow so I will press alt and one click in between the, the two layers and as you can see it will make it as a clipping mask to this shutter layer so now I can press Ctrl T with this clock on and I can make it bigger so it will cover all the, the shadow brushes that we have in here and as you can see this will make it look like it's coming from uh, the clock itself and that's what we want alright I think it looks good let me make it bigger and make sure that I'm covering all the the shadow brushes in here all right i think it looks good let me move it around and see all right i like this now let's go ahead and open uh, the shadow glass that we'll be using so i will take it and open it in a new tab and i will drag it to the other tab in here and i will close this Alright, now I'm gonna press Ctrl T and I will try to place it. Let's see, somewhere around. Let's place it in here. Let's right click and choose flip horizontal and see how it will look. I think I will place it around here to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right, I think this way it looks, it looks cool. And let's grab uh, the eraser tool in here and let's make sure that I'm using a regular brush and let's make the hardness to 100% and I will delete some of this shadow glass that they don't look good let's see yeah I think this is a little bit close to the other one so let's grab the lasso tool in here and I will select it then I will take it and put it in here I'm using uh, control when I want to take an object like this and I will press control D and 
let's see if we can move some of the parts in here yeah, let's move this one in here and again I will take it and put it maybe let's see and let's put it there and let's move this one all right I think this this is enough all right now I'm gonna press ctrl L and I will try to make it a little bit lighter and I want to keep the the shadow of it so the, because that's what we want all right and it is okay all right now I'm gonna make a copy of this clock that we put in the shadow layer in here so I'm gonna select it and I'll press alt and as you can see I can make a copy of it and I will put it on top and then I'm gonna do the same as I did for uh, the shadow layer in here so I will press alt and I will make it as a clipping mask to this layer let me rename this layer to shadow glass and now I can move this clock to cover this this glass in here so I can make it smaller all right but as you can see it doesn't look like it's it's a glass so I'm gonna make a copy of this shattered glass and I will put it on top of the this uh, clock copy in here and I will make it as a clipping mask too but I will change the, the blending mode to soft light and there we go we have this really interesting look to it but still it doesn't look uh, like a, a glass so I will make another copy of it let's reduce the opacity a little bit so I will put it around 50% and this way we have this really interesting look as you can see this is before and this is after let's go to this clock copy in here and I think I will make it darker so it will match this glass in here so I'm gonna press ctrl L and I will make it darker all right Alright, so that would be all for the, the third part of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day.